Hello everybody and welcome back to Letton Farm. So today of course is the day of the Letton auction which opened at 10am so it's been open for 5 minutes no doubt they're all piling in now so we're going to just try and um, yes, wait for the, the rush to die off but yes we're going to head over there within the next 5 or 10 minutes. First of all what I want to do is say hello to the sheep. Hello sheep! Right I've done that, good. Uh, I think we should probably also just check up on their food levels, make sure they have got enough food to be getting on with. So just over here we have got some more grass bales. I can give them one of these. Come on, grass bale. Um, yeah, so basically, at this auction, they're selling some brand new machinery as well. But obviously, there is the auction for the old stuff. And some of the older stuff is there just like a, a buy it now price. So the advertised price is what you pay. Unless you can do a good deal. Uh, in which case, you get it for less. Which is my plan. I'm hoping to not bid. I'm hoping to be able to just go and find something which is there at an advertised price and buy it. So, yes, I think we'll uh, we'll turn up in the 135. Actually, I could walk. Yes, I won't turn up in the 135 because somebody might try and bid on it. That would not be a good idea. Um, yeah, because I, I can imagine most people are turning up in cars, uh, not 135s. Um, although, yes, they pro they probably will be going home in something a bit different, uh, providing they've got somebody else to drive their car. Uh, yeah, so, let's go and discover the auction. Here we are. Wow, it's a massive event. Look at this, the Letton Farm Machinery Auction. Got flags flying and everything. It's huge! What a transformation when I mowed this field. This field was just nothing before. And now look at it. Well, from what I can understand, anything which has a sign next to it is obviously a set guide price um, to be able to buy it straight away. And anything which doesn't have a sign at all is in for an auction, so it probably does have a reserve and there would be a little bit of messing around trying to win it. So I'm going to try and focus on those which are just, you know, there to buy, as I've already mentioned. Uh, hopefully it's not going to be too difficult to buy anything. Uh, that looks familiar. Hmm, it's used as well. Very suspicious. Uh, yeah, anyway, so what we're going to do is obviously have a, a good walk around, look at things in detail, and we'll also have a look around the new stuff too. In fact, we might start with the new stuff and come back to the uh, the used stuff later. Hello. That's a nice pony. Uh, yeah, so that's a nice little thing. It would be good to have one of those around the farm too. Maybe a pickup. Not necessarily one like that, though. Uh, right, so it's the Challenger stand, Fent, all that kind of stuff. JCB. Yeah, although it's nice to look at. There's not much chance of us being able to afford this. Ever. Uh, plus, our land isn't really suitable for such large machinery. But we can dream. We can dream to have one of these. Uh, this is more like it. Yes. The 5613, 5610, 8737. Very nice machinery. And JCB have got some stuff here as well. Just in the back corner here. Uh, massive sprayer. Huge sprayer. I don't know if that's for sale. Or if it's just for show. Because uh, it does seem to be a bit of a show. Over uh, an auction as well. Um, yeah, so. Anyway, let's take a look. Let's see if we can find anything of interest. So I did mention that I am looking for a vehicle. A car to get around in. Uh, looking at the pony, I'd love to have the pony. But I don't think it's for sale. And it seems to be quite happy where it is. Um, but we've got here a Land Rover Defender by Virtual Farmer, lovingly restored, eight and a half thousand pounds. Sounds like a good price, really. Got a winch on the front. Uh, not too sure if we'd need the winch, but yeah, look at those chunky tyres. We, we could definitely do with the chunky tyres. So that's definitely a consideration. And we can just buy it. We can possibly put an offer in as well. But look at this, a Hilux. Hilux is a good. Um, but it doesn't seem to have a price, so that must be in the auction later. Uh, plus, it's very new, so I don't think there's much chance of me being able to afford this. Are these things open? Can I actually get in here? Oh, it is open. Oh, that is nice. Uh, very clean interior, as you can see. Obviously, it's had a bit of use, but uh, that's kind of expected. It's a used machine. A 
a used vehicle. Uh, yeah, so that is definitely going to be up there with uh, a, con well, a consideration to buy. Hopefully I can buy it, but it just depends if I find anything else, um, which would seem a bit more sensible. In fact, this is something here, the Ford Transit Short Wheelbase by Dow. Uh, that is the seller, they're the seller names. £5,400, uh, I think that's for both of them. Is it, maybe it's each, it must be each. Yeah, that, that would be a very good deal. Yeah, it must be each. Um, thing is it's left hand drive which I can see so that's going to be a bit awkward for me in this country um, but they look pretty good are they unlocked this one's locked and that one's locked on that side let's just try and walk around yeah it's nice it's obviously very well kitted out and stuff it's got a radio uh, which I don't have the luxury of currently um, but yeah it's left hand drive and well, it's good the load space is really good we can actually get quite a few pallets of seed in there and uh, yeah of course we've got the side door as well today really is a money spending day and I've just realized that I haven't paid the mortgage so I think I can do it on my phone if I just do that very quickly uh, then at least I I'm confident that we do have money to spend there we go five thousand pounds forty five thousand pounds left to pay uh, so that's gonna be still a while very nice trailers just here Richard Weston trailers um, again, they're in the auction along with the low loader with the uh, little front loader on the uh, the back of it. Must be for a mower. Oh, what is this? The 390T with the 18 speed shift gearbox. And on the back we've got the AS trailer, Marston trailer, which is a, a more unique colour actually. They're usually like a, a dark blue or a light blue. And I think this is actually something we can buy if we wanted to, if I can afford it. Okay, it's uh, seventeen thousand eight hundred pounds. Monster is the seller. Although actually, yeah, if you consider it's including the trailer, that's actually really good. If I sell one of my tractors and our old trailer, which I painted very badly, we might be able to get half that value. So really, it's not going to cost me a great deal. That is good. In fact, I'm very tempted just to go and buy that. Because uh, I'm looking for a four-wheel drive tractor, which that is. Something which is higher horsepower than what I currently have, which that is. And I was also looking for a bigger and better trailer as well, which, of course, that is as well. So that is uh, a very clean-looking tractor, actually. Really clean. Highline Plus. I think everything's unlocked. It is, yeah, it's unlocked. Um, yeah, this is, this is very clean in here. I would love to buy this and that price doesn't sound too bad at all so we might be coming back here very soon I really hope it doesn't sell uh, that's a good tractor too but that again is in the auction the 399 18 speed shift gearbox highline very similar actually just a different model number so it's got a front loader and a bigger engine both a four-wheel drive and in the cab yeah it's very similar it's just yeah longer bonnet uh, I, I feel to be sitting much higher up as well, and no trailer included in whatever the price is. We have a self-propelled sprayer, which obviously I can't afford, and a newer Zeta Major 80, which I don't want to bid on. Uh, over here, that is a nice thing. In fact, hang on. I'm sure this is the JCB that we used to clear up the, uh, the flood. So whoever it was has actually come to sell it at the auction. Well, good luck to them, because they were nice people. And it's got a McHale silage cutter on the front which obviously is no use to me uh, yes that's suspicious I don't know who the seller is of that massive uh, chaser bin here auger wagon um, yeah chaser bin looks used but uh, fairly good this thing looks unique that could be quite useful around the yard but I can imagine it being very expensive uh, plus it's in the auction we've got a Fiat 420 which I think I think it's something we can buy. 6899 by Michael. Sounds expensive. Uh, and it is two-wheel drive, so possibly... Yeah, I don't think that's much use to us, but it looks like a nice tractor. Looks very nice. What is this back here? Oh, it's what things have been delivered on. Yeah, that's not for sale. Uh, they've been delivering tractors on these. I'm kind of behind the show here. And this one here as well. Nice, very nice. Right, what's next? We have a crawler. This is the Massey Ferguson 74C. Uh, 
which looks like a right beast. Um, very old piece of equipment here. I can't imagine this for going for too much. It must be a fairly cheap thing. It's like a, a big brother of that one there. The Fiat Turbos 160.55. Uh, we've got a little trailer here. It's a good looking trailer and we do actually have a price on this. 2465 by Oilers 9. Um, yes, that is actually a good price and it would be very useful. It's a really good dump trailer. But if I'm going to buy that over there, there's not much point in buying this. Having said that, this one over here is more of a dump trailer, not one over there is more of a grain trailer. So they do have their own uses. Valmet 502 in the auction. Zeta 7045, which we do have a price for. Rainbow Dave, £7,200. Actually, that, that does sound quite good too, because it's four-wheel drive. It's obviously well used. Um, that, yeah, that is quite tempting. In fact, it's very tempting. Let's see if we can get inside. I've made my way in. Let's just close the door. Um, yeah, actually looks better on the inside than what it does on the outside. It's basic, but it's cheap. And I think it's quite a powerful tractor. I don't know the exact figures of it. Anyway, yeah, seems nice. We will uh, keep that in mind. Next we have a baler. A bale trailer. Galvanised by the look of it. Uh, a New Holland T5030. Seems nice as well. A John Deere 7430 Premium. These are all out of my price range. Uh, Fent Favorite 926, which we do have a price for, which is selling at £40,000, uh, which actually seems quite a good price, because um, that is a big tractor. But then again, I don't even have £40,000, so it's not much use to me. Uh, we've got an Ursus, and look at that beast there, class 4000 Zarian. We've got a price for it. A Gav 8080 is selling that for 254 Yeah, so completely out of the question. But it's a saddle track, it looks like a decent machine. For the right person, for the right farm, that is a great machine. Yeah, this is my more my kind of stuff. Uh, a 6911 Zeta, which looks very used. Uh, it's in the auction. Look at this, an MAN. It's like a very unique thing. Uh, Dennis is here, clearly. Lieber 902. Hodge is selling that for 67853 It's an interesting price. Keeping it simple. Uh, again, it's not something I actually need, but it looks like a great machine to have. It's a fairly old machine, though. But then again, if that was new, it would not be a price like that. Uh, so we are back to the start, and I am very tempted by everything. Everything which I've seen. I think the one thing I'm going to go and put an offer in on the straightaway is this one down here. Since it's now 20 past 12, and it could sell. 17,800. Let's see if the monster can uh, accept... 17,000. I'm going to go and speak to them. We have to go over here. This is the office. And it's where they deal with all the numbers. There's an almighty queue in there. And those running it are just drinking tea. Uh, yes, they have accepted 17,000 pounds. Which is uh, quite impressive. Uh, but it's also quite a hit for me. Because obviously, well, hitting the wallet I should say. Yeah, it's, it's a fair amount of money. But look what I've just bought for £17,000. I need to sell a tractor. I am desperate to sell a tractor. Yes, I think I've done really well there. £17,000. I would imagine a dealer would sell that for... Well, they'd probably sell it without the trailer anyway. But yeah, probably 20000 for the tractor. What would it be? 10000 for the trailer? I don't know. Um, with it being in such good condition though. Yeah. Anyway, I'm not allowed to move it until 5 o'clock. Because uh, the show is still going, obviously, you can't run people over. It's not good manners. Uh, anyway, yes, let's go and see the other thing I was looking at. Which was the other thing I was looking at? It was the uh, the vehicles. I can't choose. They're bidding on stuff all throughout the day, so... Uh, yeah, half this stuff is probably already sold. But that... That might still be available. Eight and a half thousand. Seems good. Seems very good. I would like to get it. I really would. I think we'll go and speak to them. Put an offer in. £8,000. See what they say. Oh, I'm so annoyed. 
it's already sold. Somebody paid over the asking price for it. So clearly it was either very cheap or a very desirable thing. It does look desirable. But we're going to have to keep an eye out for another one in the future because that one has sold. I reckon I'm going to go and see if I can see who owns this, who's put it into the auction. It, it just looks too familiar to me. I'm sure... I'm sure that is uh, Peter Woods. Obviously he's gone now, but he had one stolen and it looks suspiciously similar. I'm going to have to go and see who owns it. I don't know if they'll tell me, but hopefully at least they have the first name of the uh, the seller. Because they must have all the details of everybody selling here. Okay. I'm amazed. And you're going to be amazed too. The person selling, or the person who has entered this into the auction, is called Gary Turner. And I don't think Gary had a Husqvarna mower. So I'm a bit confused. Then again, would he seriously put it in an auction held on the land of the farm he stole it off if he did steal it? Maybe it is just a similar model. I don't know. I can't tell. It just seems too similar. And he never had one before. Maybe he just bought it from somebody and maybe he's just selling it on. Who knows? But yeah, I've just basically told them that one was stolen from around here a while ago, within the last few months, so yeah, they're just going to put it down in the notes and hopefully, well, it turns out to be all genuine. Right, so I just thought I should do my bit there. I didn't want to say too much in case I'm wrong. Uh, yeah, the Zeta track seems good, seems very good. Uh, yeah, that seems like a nice tractor too, but I can't afford it. All of this stuff is very nice. So, yeah, and I wanted to buy that, I really did. Ah, oh, dear. So we're going home with, at least I think we're going home with just one thing. One very expensive thing though. The Massey Ferguson 390T with a Marston trailer. Hang on, I wonder if it's too late for me to enter something of mine. I can imagine it is, but you never know. I'm spending quite a bit of time up here. With the amount of time I'm spending here, I might be offered a cup of tea. Oh, I did, I got a disposable cup. Everybody loves disposable cups, as long as they're environmentally friendly. Anyway, yes, they said that I can. I can enter something, providing I give them all my details, and, of course, give them the description of what it is I'm selling. So, a bit of a, a last-minute decision. They said it isn't a normal thing to do. I think normally, because people are traveling quite a long way with their machines. They can't just nip next door and get it. Um, but, yeah, they said they can just put it in right at the end, so it would be about 4.30, I think. So if I go and put it out there for people to look at, I might put a reserve on, but there's commission, extra commission if you put a reserve on. So maybe we should just let it go. Then again, it might sell for like a thousand pounds, which I don't want to do. Right, okay. Here we go then. The tractor I'm going to sell is this one, because I've obviously just bought the other one. Um, we don't have, we won't have a tractor with a front loader, which is going to be a bit of an issue. I say sell the Zeta. Hmm. Hmm. No, I sell this. I keep the Zeta. Uh. But where? Yeah, I sell. I sell the trailer as well. It would be a wise idea. So here it is. We've had some good times. I've painted it badly, but you never know. It might have had some added some value. Hopefully, it has done. Uh. Although actually looking at it, I don't think it has added any value at all. So yeah, grapple included. Front loader, trailer. I really don't know what this is worth. I can't even remember what I paid for it, but luckily I do these vlogs so I can look back if I need to and uh, see the price that I paid. Uh, right, so I'm not allowed to drive actually on the site, so I'm going to have to leave it just here where the cars park and they will have to position it in the correct place. We might be taking it home again if it doesn't sell, but I'm going to put a reserve of 2000 on it sell it as it is see how we go we can't go too badly wrong can we well they've just put it in position for me made a quick sign look at this Massey Ferguson 675 2 wheel drive front loader and grapple famous on YouTube they found these vlogs which I'm doing Dagwin Thristle Sticks farm series 
Reserve 2000. Yeah, so they say 4.30 is the time it's going in for the, uh, the auction. So, yeah, like I say, I'm going to be watching it here, but you should be able to watch it on the screen, which I'll hopefully put within this vlog. Uh, so, yeah, let's just see how it goes. Okay, it is 4.30. It's starting. All right then, 2000. It's live. Come on, people bid. Bid. Yes, two and a half. 3000. Wow, that's a big jump. Four and a half. Five. Five and a half. Six. Yeah. Eight. Eight! Come on. Any higher? Eight thousand? Yes, eight five hundred. This is incredible. I suppose it does come with a trader as well. Is that it? Yeah, sold. Wow. That's incredible. <laughs> Eight and a half thousand pounds. So I don't know if I have to pay for the full amount of the other trasher and then get paid for this one or if I just sort of offset it. I would imagine I have to pay for the full amount. So let's go and uh, do the paperwork. That is incredible. Really incredible. What a ginormous queue that was. Everybody was trying to sort out all their stuff. Uh, but yeah, we finished off with £22,115. £17,000 deducted and eight and a half thousand pounds in so yeah that's not too bad but it's not everything i wanted to buy today i really did want to buy a vehicle as well or a pony but yeah the pony well you've been there all day there's nobody giving you water you should have some water here anyway yes we're not going home in that they said that i can now take the tractor goodbye 675 goodbye grapple goodbye trailer we've had some good times even though i've not had you for too long I hope your new owner doesn't work you too hard. We're going home in this. A 390T. I've been given the keys. Smooth. That is smooth. Very nice. Right, so, yeah, we do have now, we can officially say we have a four-wheel drive tractor. I think we're about 70 episodes into my vlog. Uh, so that's not bad, really. 70 episodes to get to a four-wheel drive tractor. Seems very good. But no, that's been a very, very enjoyable auction. I have really enjoyed today. Um, but we're a bit poorer than when we turned up this morning. But we finish off with something very good. So we're going to put it over here. And uh, yeah, I look forward to using this tractor in a couple of days' time. My understanding is it's actually a 90 horsepower tractor. Not too sure if it has a turbo, but yeah, that is the most powerful tractor I've ever had. I think, well, what was the 675? About 75? I don't know. But there we go, everybody. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed the video, and until next time, I'll see you again very soon. Bye for now.